Stephen Johnson Leyla, the father of sex expressionism, the leader of the Cayuga Church. This man has made his home in Everett, Washington. Pacific North Weird invites you to Electric Leyla Land. Hi, I'm Steven Johnson Leva. I like to use my name Leva and the artist Leva. I'm a Renaissance man in the 21st century. There's not much that I don't do. My primary work is handmade books, but it goes from there. So everything points back to the books. So There's huge, thick, mixed media books that I sew beads in, put blood and all kinds of hair and physicality. And I had this. I did this spell a long time ago to find dirty panties. Anywhere I go all over the world, I found them in Stockholm, in Holland, in the woods, anywhere. I just go and I find them. And they're more powerful, I don't know, if I don't know where they came from. Um, I started the Kyoto Church, the first church of creative application. It's a church of art. And we believe not everybody's an artist, but everybody should create. Not everything is art, but you better fucking make something. You're not a monkey. These hands you have are made to make something. Forget about the label of artist. You create for whatever reason. You know, you don't have to go the path of the artist. I know doctors and lawyers that are better musicians and artists than, you know, full-time artists. I know because, but they, we're taught you can only do one thing, one career. And it's a serious career as a doctor or lawyer, so you don't want to also be an artist. So it's like, but you don't have to be an artist. You are a creator, create something. We're putting, like, if you look at like this painting, for instance, and there's blood on it, and there's hair and stuff, and then you think about the origins of, like, particularly African art or North American art, where they saw these creations as living beings. You know, there's and there's DNA and there's blood and there's shit or whatever, and it's like a physicality. Um, it's part of their own. Yeah, and calm is a way of putting. The final thing I do on a painting is ejaculate on the painting, and it's that sexual energy. One day you'll throw food on your face! The future is growing your favorite food on your face. <laughs> uh, this is Karen O from the Yeah Yes. She likes ham and cheese sandwiches, so this is a complete act of love and homage to her, and she's like on the yeah. forefront of science. He loves Karen O. Big crush, Karen O, if you're watching yep. this guy. Yeah, this one's a Karen O also. <laughs> We're gonna make sure Karen O sees this. Okay, good, good. The art writer and critic Carlo McCormick saw my work and called me the father of sex expressionism. And sex expressionism, if you look at the history of painting and film and dance even, uh, German expressionism, it's, it's the, the raw paint, the, the physical, the physicality, which is opposite of the JPEG and, and the internet now, it's just physical, owning and living in physical space. So you see in expressionism, you see bold, thick paint, and with expressionism, it's using sexuality, not in a way, it's a real problem using the sexual image and out of context from the media, porn. You see like in the 90s when I started my career, people were showing maple syrup and, and curators were getting arrested. But then you have Calvin Klein like, you know, showing women with tennis shoes in their crotch area look like open orifices. So it's like if an artist takes it out of context and they're trying to put a context and a meaning other than sex in their art, then it's, it's a problem. The two rules about art are the same as the two rules about science. The truth at all costs, even the cost of your own life. And look at everything like you've never seen it before and start from there. So an artist that points at that chair and makes it art, it's not because the artist is like the priest of like, this is art and I say it is, so therefore it's art. Right. Bullshit. It's because he can recontextualize it. He can present the chair or make it in a way that people look at it like they've never seen right. a chair I guess before. the That's most art. accessible um, example of that would be the pipe painting. The painting of the pipe, this is not a pipe. Yeah. All of a sudden, that yeah, revolutionized 
some sort of, I don't know that. And people go ha 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 like with Duchamp, but no, it's like they're pointing out the obvious. Here they come, walking down the street. Get many looks from everyone we meet. Woo! Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. People say we're fucking around. We're too busy singing. Yeah, we're gonna put some fucking people down. Ow, there will I be won. casualties with Art War. Yeah, yeah, we're the monkeys. We're monkeys. <laughs> Your art is heavier than a human Literally. and a monkey all put together. Metaphorically, literally, physically. Biologically, your art is stronger than a Going back to magic and art, because we're very much about magic and art. Absolutely. And magic meaning putting your your physical energy, your sexual energy into this thing that you create. And changing the world around you a lot of your intent. People are like, what's more important, the artist or the art? And I say, the act of creating is the most important. And Fuck the art the is artist. the artifact. The process is the product. The personality gets Fuck in the way. Fuck the person who's doing it and fuck the thing that happens afterwards. It's in the between realms that where the intent of the person corresponds with the thing that is created. And it mingles together and it sends a message into the cosmos. And it fully registers because magic is fucking real. A lot of people that should be artists aren't because they don't want the baggage of being poor, being a weirdo, you know, insane, you know, a life of poverty, woohoo, being misunderstood, that's great. Hey, you should try it. If anybody wants to join the Kyoto Church, we ask them to submit their creative application. And if they come back saying, well, how do I, how do I, what do you want? How do I submit my creative application? It's like, eh, wrong. Like, it's all in you. Yeah, we're not going to tell you what to do. We have a battle saying, we're not going to tell you what to do, but you better do it. <laughs> Greetings, fellow environs. We are the Coddle Church. And we are instructing you to watch Pacific North Weird, or else suffer a normal, boring life forever. <laughs> When I was a kid, like everyone's like, okay, you got this square, this canvas, you can do anything. Use your imagination, you have complete freedom. And as soon as I did that, you know, when I was a kid, it's like, no, no, you can't do that. And I'm like, they're like, you've gone too far. And I'm like, but that's the only place that I've ever wanted to go. And my friend's like, he's like, you know, you chose that path. You could have painted rainbows and unicorns and cats and kittens. And I said, I did paint a kitten. <laughs> He's like, from hell. <laughs> if you want to submit your creative application to the Kaido Church to be a part of our cultural revolution, Gold. Sure. <laughs> send it to labaart at gmail.com. been Steven Johnson Leva, and this is Pacific North Weird with Electric Leva Lands. I have some gifts for you. I hope you don't think it's too weird. I'm kind of a fan, but here's some art I made. You guys remind me of Captain and Tennille from the 70s. Thanks, Steven Johnson Leva. Thank you.